All right, I want to go over with Ben, uh, teaching your dog how to switch sides and heel, right? So heel, when you say heel, dog's supposed to be parallel. They're not, depending upon how you define it, their parallel position. Uh, it could be anywhere from the middle of your foot to the back of your heel. Their paw isn't supposed to um, breach. Um, and ring sports, they define it by the dog's shoulder and, and head position. Um, but regardless, it implies that the dog's on the left side, always, okay? So we don't say left side or anything like that. And when the dog goes to the other side, we don't say heel because that would confuse the dog, right? Because we're teaching the dog from all kinds of positions how to come to heel. It's always going to be on the left side. So people make that mistake all the time. Um, it's annoying. But we, we don't get to spend as much time on this because people usually, we got to spend a lot of time on the basics, which is fine. But this is for maybe past clients, but anyone who wants to teach a dog to go side to side, which is incredibly useful. So heel is on the left, implied, always. And then the command I used to be on the right side, I just say right. And that implies you're parallel to me, same parallel position as heel, except now you're on the right. Okay, so heel, right, heel, right. And when the dog gets really good at it, they should be able to do it back and forth, behind your back, by the way. Um, seamlessly, uh, and, and without a leash, without much of it, just, you could do a minor hand um, sign, but really you want them cueing off your voice. So, I'll go over how, how to teach your dog that and how to reinforce it. And there's basically a bunch of different ways. The best way, my favorite way to start is just to use agility. And you just switch sides. So you're going, you're running, dog jumps, and you switch sides this way and you just say right. Okay? So we'll start with that. All right, Freaky, let's go. It's a little high, so if it goes down, it might hurt his paw. Plus, I like him, so I might be babying him a little. Okay, so it's a passive way of teaching it. Does that make sense? All I do is I pivot 180 degrees to my right, and the same thing, except to my left. I'm going to heel. Uh, you should actually say it, then pivot. I think my that was a little off with my verbal there. All right, so from there, simply you can use a lure. Okay, it could be a food door right now. I think we'll, I'll probably do a ball or a tug. So, very simple. Say the command, then start to use a lure, okay? Right? Yes. Starting to fade the lure a little bit. Be very gestural with your hand signal too. Tap, 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 boom. Okay, so I'll show you. Now you, what you can do is do leash pressure. So it's the third way. Out. Good boy. Very good. Heel. Good boy. And I'll do this with a firm. Okay, buddy, heel. So I'll do it with a, a really 
demonstrative hand signal. Right? Good boy, good right. That's right. Good boy. Heel. And then the fourth way, combine both lore and um, hand signal. Excuse me, combine both lore and uh, leash pressure. Probably the best way. Let me see if I can find that ball because it'll more closely approximate what it looks like with food. Which is probably what you should start off with at first two or three times and then fade it. Did I lose the ball a little buddy? You better take notes for me because I can't keep track of myself buddy. There we go. Ooh, what's that? Good, ready? Good. Let's go. What I'll do is I'll lower and use the leash. Right? Alright, so just a little gentle leash pressure, a little negative reinforcement combined with uh, lure, okay? But say it, then move, okay? Um, motion trumps auditory stimuli always with dogs. Uh, here, buddy, who is the last one, huh? Good, now my favorite one besides jumping is to combine it with the motion command. So motion command, the sequence is the command. So it goes like this, right? Heel, boy, sit. Heel. Yes. Good boy. Okay. So it, he didn't get rewarded until it completed. So it's heel, he's healing. You say sit, you keep moving. And then you say heal once he comes to heal, then you reward. Whether it's praise, food, doesn't matter. Okay, so sequence is the command. We're gonna do that, except I'm gonna say heal, sit, and then I'll say right. He, he, I'm gonna be very demonstrative with my hand signal. I'll probably use a lore too. You don't have to, but I will here. And uh, then I'll reward, okay? So watch this. Here you go, buddy. And what, he, what this does is, because he's behind you, you can really see. Okay, it means that side. Here, buddy, ready? That makes sense okay so he can you can really see it that way then from there it's a matter of walking them in right more frequently you can do touch pads with them on right uh, which is hard they get developed that helps a lot it's kind of imperative actually because they'll get way out of position if those if that uh those motor patterns for the rear end aren't uh imprinted and then look just like with heel they have to understand it moving but also stationary so ready sit Good. 
and then you know stagger your legs just like with that heel drill right ready right Unleash. yes okay reward Out. sit you do a perpendicular from the front no sit buddy boy stagger your leg forward no sit good Yes, yes, except I said the wrong fucking word. Oh, sorry, buddy. Sit. Let's sit. Everybody ready? Hey, you. Right. Yes. Good. So I guess that's a lot of ways, but uh, you, you know, these, those are all actually basic ways that I teach this. And again, you can use food the first few times. Always better use tug or a ball. And really, praise works great because they get up focus. And they're, when they're not in drive, it's easier for them to focus, you know? Uh, so use a bunch of different reward systems. Do it a bunch of different ways so they get it. And then you just start doing it. Out. No, out. And then, you know, you don't have to use high value rewards every time, but if you do, start mix it to a random schedule, right? Heel, first, right. Good, heel. Look. step. Again, the stay shirt you know, we just did. Uh, now you do it to reinforce right side, the squares, the 180s, the uh, figure eights. Front. Good boy. Right. Good. Flip. Flip. Yes. Now you're showing off, huh? All right, that's it. Fuck, it's way too long, I guess. Anyway, um, it's very, very useful with the dog, all right? You go to, everyone's got a fake service dog now. All right, you go to an airport, you take them on the subway, you gotta be able to switch sides. But it ain't really any crowd to play, so it takes a little bit of time. Ooh. Oh, it's big stuff. All right, so uh, that's it. Hope, hope that helps.